Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a winter favourites kind of video. I know you really loved my autumn one. If you haven't seen that, I will link it for you in the eye. Um, I think that video did quite well and you really enjoyed seeing like what I was enjoying in the autumn. So yeah, this will be the same but for winter. We're still technically in winter. We are in February now, so kind of towards the end of winter, but we are still in winter. <laughs> so if you love monthly or seasonal favourites type of videos then do keep on watching do subscribe and yeah i will get straight on with the video so these types of videos are mainly for things that i absolutely love and would recommend so i do a lot of hauls from different places on my channel but i like to group them all together kind of at the end of the season and talk about the things that i have really been loving i've got different categories so i've got clothing makeup jewelry kind of books and then tv shows slash songs so i'll start with clothing now i've got two pieces of clothing one of them is actually quite old so if you are after this you'll have to search like ebay depop vintage kind of second hand places but i kind of rediscovered this dress lately and i have worn it on christmas day and also my birthday i do think this is more of like a special occasion dress it's very fancy and i absolutely love it so i'm not sure the name of this one anymore but it is a killstar dress i bought this years ago but it does have this really cute like collar it is all black so it might be a little bit hard to see it's got like a cutout some frills and then it's just like a black velvet kind of skater dress but these sleeves are just everything like i absolutely love the sleeves on these it's got like these buttons and then all this lace that sits like on top of your hand and it's so like elegant really like victorian and like just gorgeous looking so i kind of rediscovered this dress i think i've worn this dress for christmas day like three years in a row because i just absolutely love this one as i said it's a bit more fancy but i did wear it for like christmas day and my birthday and i kind of fell in love with it all over again because it's such a pretty dress and it has a nice like hole for a necklace and you can wear a belt with it and it's just super super pretty so i had to mention this one and it is by killstar and the quality is so nice i just absolutely love this dress so that was definitely one of my favorites for winter i have worn quite a lot of different things i have done killstar hauls um i've worn like the tarot card dress i've worn the moth dress but i've only worn those once so i don't feel like it's fair to favor something after one use i wanted something that i've at least worn a couple of times and the last piece is definitely not an affordable item but i haven't actually hauled this in a video basically i always liked leather jackets but i actually had like a shorter one and i literally have worn it once i am actually selling it and i just don't like jackets that sit at that length it wasn't cropped it was just kind of like a normal standard length leather jacket and i never wear jackets like that like every time i have a coat or a jacket it's really long um so i did because i am selling that one i did buy this next one i did get it from emp and the brand is called gypsy and it's a beautiful leather jacket so this is what it looks like it's so cool so it kind of starts off just like a normal leather jacket with this kind of collar and the zip and everything and then it just kind of if i can show you starts off like that and is really really long it probably hits like mid thigh on me so it's a really nice length you can kind of see all of it it's not like a trench coat or anything but i absolutely love this jacket it's got like um these stitching almost like a stripe detail it's got this kind of lined detail there it's got zips it's got like inside pockets on this side um, I'm not sure why it says power to the girls. I'm not really a fan of that, but I really liked the style. It has a belt, um, pockets down here, and then the sleeves are really cool as well because they do have a zip. So if you wear a jumper and like your wrists are a bit tight, you can unzip these. And the quality of this is so nice. I have worn this every single time I've gone out. I'm wearing it today. <laughs> I plan on wearing it today. It's very, very heavy. 
um i think it retails for about 200 and something pounds and i did get i think 20 percent off and free shipping um so it's definitely not an affordable purchase and it is real leather um i didn't want to pay it, like loads of money for fake leather um so this is definitely something that's going to last me um and i'm so happy i got it but it's so weighty it's very very cool and that kind of brings me i guess into the main reason i did this video is also i've been so into like trad goth fashion um i don't say my style is trad goth but i say it's got like trad goth inspired elements like the eyeliner is very bold and like cat eye i do back comb my hair but i don't leave it back combed <laughs> i do kind of brush it down a little bit but it is still back combed and i always wear like chokers like this loads of rings i love fishnet tights i love winkle pickers i love leather <laughs> so i definitely like kind of aspects of trad goth but lately i have been super into it so i've been wearing like my winkle pickers all the time i do have the underground winkle pickers i'll put a photo on the screen I absolutely love them. I'm not sure if I could if I would recommend them because they're nice quality but the soles of them just keep like disappearing <laughs> and I keep having to get them fixed at Timpsons. So not sure about it, like if I'd recommend them especially for the price that they are at. I have been wearing those shoes to death. And as I showed you, I've been super into leather jackets recently, so I do have that. And I've also bought like the leather dress from Primark that you would have seen in that haul. I have worn that and I really like it. So yeah, just been super into like the trad goth style at the moment. Even now, like I've got loads of chainy things, that one's disappeared. <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely into the trad goth style at the moment so i had to mention that leather jacket because i have been wearing it every single time i go out it's so comfortable i absolutely love it so i would recommend that if you like leather as a jacket i know some people are like vegan and other things like that but if you are looking for like a good quality leather jacket i would recommend that brand they're also handmade in germany i want to say like somewhere in europe so yeah really nice quality i have one makeup item to show you i haven't used it today actually because i wanted more of like a gray look because i did paint my nails gray like a space gray but i have been using this palette like all of the time i've done a lot of red makeup looks lately that you would have seen in some of my videos and i did do a haul of this but this is from the brand motet's Darm, Motet Darm, I think that's how you say it, and it's the Blood Queen palette. I actually bought this over a year ago when I was out in America for Christmas, and it is an American company, and I absolutely love this palette. I think their eyeshadows are really kind of easy to blend. I wasn't a fan of their liquid lipsticks, if I'm honest, but I really like the Maybelline ones, and I think that's why I just found the other ones a little bit drying, but the eyeshadow I absolutely love. So this is kind of what it looks like. You can see definitely some of the colours I have used. And it's just a stunning palette. I absolutely love it. The main ones I use are this one, which is Countess. This is like a really nice shimmery red. I should use this one because like, look at that. It's so pretty. I also use this one a lot, which is alluring. <laughs> and I, use, I also use Bloodlust, which is the top red. It's a really nice like blood red colour. And I've also used this one, which is more like a grey purple called Soulless. <laughs> I just love this palette. I think it's such a cool palette if you love mainly red looks and also love a vampire aesthetic. That is their whole brand. Like Blood Queen, they've got like a Nosferatu style one. They've got like Dracula on their palettes. Like their eyeshadow palettes are so cool so yeah i had to give this a mention i absolutely love it on to jewelry now i've got a couple of things i've also been really into like skull jewelry lately so one of the things i have been wearing a lot is my skull necklace that's from my shop simply gothic so this is stainless steel i've been so into stainless steel jewelry lately um and it's this 3d skull really really cool and it's so weighty like if you like chunky jewelry you will absolutely love this one so yeah i've been wearing this a lot i wore this with my tarot card 
dress and it looked really really cool because that one's full of skulls and i just think this is so easy to style um because it literally goes with everything i nearly wore it today but i did get this one for christmas i want to say from mystic and luna and i thought this was like the perfect gap for it so i wanted to give this one a chance but i have been wearing this one a lot and to go with that i've also been wearing this skull ring now a lot of my rings i keep the same i do tend to wear the same ones but usually across like these two fingers, I've got this ring in red that I switch out with sometimes and also a cauldron. And I also have different rings for this finger, like again, the cauldron, because it fits both of them, a pumpkin one, and also like a vampire fangs one. And then I also change out the different I don't know if you can hear that but it's a helicopter <laughs> um i also change out the coffin colors as well but i have been loving the skull ring like i bought it for myself i didn't get it as a present or anything from mysticum luna because i always kind of had my eye on it um and then one day i was just like i'm just gonna buy it because i've been looking at it for ages and i love it um i have worn it like every time i've got ready to go out like i haven't chosen any other ring over this one i think the detail is beautiful it's so like chunky and heavy um and that's what it looks like close up i love the details of this like all the kind of cracks in the head it's so cool and i love the way it sits as well and this is stainless steel it just sits like perfectly on the hand or on the finger i guess <laughs> It's just so, so cool. I do also have a code for Mr. Luna and it is an affiliate code and link. So the code is simply underscore spooky. I will put it on the screen for you here. Do use that code. It'll get you 10% off your order, I believe. Um, so yeah, and they also have their Valentine's collection out now, which is really beautiful. And also the next item is also from Mr. Luna that I will mention too. So they've definitely got some really nice pieces out at the moment. I have really been loving this this style of bracelet like these chain bracelets now i've worn these a couple of times and i can see myself wearing them like a lot so this one is from mystic and luna and it actually perfectly matches the necklace i'm wearing and this is i think a curb style chain with all of these spikes coming off of it it looks super grungy but also kind of vampy because they kind of look like steaks so there's this one and also this one I got for my birthday and I've worn it a few times and I love it. I think it's the perfect um, like chain bracelet and also perfect for layering. And this is by the company Black Hearts Jewellery. They do have an Etsy and a website and this is also stainless steel. So loving the stainless steel jewellery. Um, I will leave all of the shop links you need in the description box. But as I said, you can get 10% uh, off Mr. Luna, which is like this bracelet, the skull ring, and also this one that I'm also wearing. And the last piece of jewellery is very trad goth, and it is a choker. So I always tend to wear this one, but lately I have been wearing this one instead. This is just like a more extreme version of the one that I'm wearing. This one is actually like fake leather. It's very like bendable and it's very very comfortable it probably doesn't look it but it is <laughs> whereas this one is from an etsy business and it is real leather and it's by the company aeon leather it's not as comfortable as this one but i do find that i kind of forget about it in the day so i do think it gets more comfortable once you've like bent it to your skin um because leather is a bit more stiff of a material and everything on this is really nice quality so it's got these i think these are stainless steel again like these o-rings and then it's got these layers of spikes so it's got these ones which are shorter and a bit more blunt and then these massive <laughs> i think they're one inch spikes they're just super over the top and i absolutely love them i also love these types of chokers with a black simple jumper dress i think they instantly like goth it up and i think it looks really really cool so i've been wearing this one a lot but i thought this with this might be a bit too much <laughs> but yeah i will also leave the shop link for them in the description if you like leather because they do a whole bunch of different styles in a whole bunch of different colors as well they do like red leather purple leather uh white leather and they also have like heart rings they have a really good choice and they are a small business as well so i will leave them in the description too up next i'll do books and then i'll end it with kind of like tv shows and songs so one book that i have absolutely been loving this isn't like 
goth or anything but this is a small business book so if you are a small business or you're thinking of starting a small business i would recommend this i think it's really good i actually got it from a friend for christmas and i've literally nearly read half of it already which is quite good for me or maybe a third i think i was being a bit too generous with myself <laughs> saying a half <laughs> but i have been loving this it gives like tips along the way and it gives people's stories of what they did um so yeah it's called big ideas for small businesses uh simple practical tools and tactics to help your small business grow by john lamerton so yeah it's a really nice book yeah it kind of gives like business lessons along the way so i've really been liking this one and the other one's not really a book but it is my planner now i love this all year round so i guess this is kind of cheating a little bit but lately i have really been into planning and staying on top of things which i'm really really pleased about i did find with my other planner i used it more as a decorative planner and i like to lay out my week with like stamps and stickers and if i didn't have that layout before the week started i didn't write in it and i constantly like did that quite a few times whereas this one i thought i've already got the design like i've already put a really cool design on each page i don't need to fill it with stickers so or decorative stickers at least and i found myself using it so much more and i just feel a lot more on top of things i've got like the monthly planner and i've just used it so much better than i have last year so i've planned out when i'm doing all my emails when i've start when i'm starting my launch prep when i'm doing my sales when i've got markets when i've got collections and i've also found these like little stickers from companies to like put when i've put like a social media post up so i can tick the box so i just love how i've been using it this year so far and then on the other page like this one um i've got like all my collections and sales what i'm going to put in emails my goals my to-do list for the month like i've really utilized all of the space and then i've got this which i have been using a lot more and then i have literally done what i've said in the description is i've broken down what i've had to do in the month for the week and I just used it so much more and I found myself really being so much more organised, less stressed and really on top of everything, which has been nice because I've had a lot to do. I had a planning day like on Wednesday the 1st and I just felt so much better. So if you are a small business, you can definitely use this planner for that. You can use it for anything, to be honest, um, which is why I kept it quite versatile. So if you're a student or a worker or like a small business owner or just anything, this is literally the perfect planner <laughs> i do say so myself <laughs> so yeah that's the goth planner from simply gothic which is my shop and the quality of this is really nice as well so i do have these available still but once they're gone i won't be restocking the dated version so if you would like to get one now is like your last chance so again i will leave the link in the description box for you and the last two things are tv and movies slash songs <laughs> tv and movie wise um i have been watching love island i know i do watch love island and i have been enjoying it i kind of like those drama shows i don't like being in drama myself but i like watching it from afar <laughs> so i have been watching that I have also been watching the vampire diaries because i am on like season seven now or eight nearly um they did take it off of netflix but it is on prime so if you do want to watch it prime is probably the best place so yeah i have been watching that like in between when i watch love island so yeah those are the two tv shows i've mainly been watching and song wise i, I do have my phone which is why it's kind of brighter <laughs> i have been super into the sisters of mercy i think it went with the whole like trad goth obsession for a bit there i loved the sisters of mercy beforehand but i did discover some not new songs but new to me songs which i have really been enjoying so i always loved like the temple of love song that's the first song i listened to by them and i absolutely fell in love with it and i liked that and the extended version and i also like marianne i always loved that one but i have really been loving lucretia my reflection this corrosion and dominion slash mother russia um love those especially lucretia my reflection is so deep i love it <laughs> like sisters of mercy are probably my favorite like original goth band most people when they think of a goth group they think of like the cure depeche mode um joy division sisters of mercy those kinds of groups um and sisters of mercy is definitely my favorite i think it's 
it just sounds so cool so those have definitely been my favorite songs along with my favorite artist i also really like i think it's son by ramstein that was trending on instagram and that's how i discovered it and i really like it and a few other songs i've really been enjoying are blue monday by new order which is actually like the newer group from joy division i didn't actually know that <laughs> but yeah blue monday again that was trending really like that one the last two songs are from depeche mode this is definitely like a goth kind of <laughs> song recommendation i have really been enjoying personal jesus and enjoy the silence i've always loved enjoy the silence when i first watched the vampire diaries they play a different version of that song in the scene when like damon and vicky are dancing and that's when i i think that's where i first heard it and i loved it um and i really liked that version who's by different group the kuna coil i think they do a version i love that one and i also like the depeche mode version so <laughs> i definitely like that song but i have been listening to it a lot at the moment as well so i had to mention it i'm sure you've probably all heard of those songs but if not there's some recommendations for you but i think that's everything i hope this helps you maybe discover some new music i mean you've probably heard of those two tv shows um or just kind of hear what i've been enjoying maybe give you some recommendations like clothing wise jewelry wise but i will leave all of the links that you need for everything if you want to go and check them out in the description box for you with any codes that i have i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you've been loving maybe let me know your favorite songs and any tv show or movie recommendations i'd love to hear them if you like this video if you enjoyed it do subscribe and hopefully i will see you in my next one bye